सो दिस इज आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड एनर्जी फॉर दिस सिग्नल ओके दिस इज सेम एज प्रीवियस वन ओके इन प्रीवियस वन ऑल्सो एज ए वॉज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो आई फॉरवर्ड टू से ए वॉज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो बट इट इज ऑब्वियस ओके सो और यू कैन करेक्ट इट ओवर देयर दैट ओवर हियर ए इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो प्रोवाइडेड क्लियर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट एग्जाम सो नाउ लेट एस फर्स्ट चेक वेदर द सिग्नल इज बाउंडेड और नॉट ओके देन ओनली देन वी विल प्रोसीड टू अवर कैलकुलेशन सो नाउ आई होप इट इज क्लियर दैट दिस इज एन एनर्जी सिग्नल ओके बट लेट्स चेक फॉर द बाउंडेडनेस नाउ क्लियरली e रेस टू ए टी हैज ग्राफ लाइक दिस ओके एक्सपोनशियली राइजिंग बट यू ऑफ माइनस टी विल रजिस्ट द ग्राफ अप टिल हियर ओके दैट इज ओनली लेफ्ट साइड पोर्शन विल रिमेन एंड फ्रॉम ग्राफ क्लियरली वी कैन से दैट इट इज अ बाउंडेड सिग्नल क्लियर ओके सो सिग्नल इज बींग बाउंडेड सो नाउ वी कैन इजिली फाइंड एनर्जी फॉर द सेम सो अगेन इफ यू विल प्रोसीड एज पर द एग्जाम्पल ओके प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल सो यू विल गेट द सेम बट ओवर हियर द लिमिट विल बी फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू जीरो बिकॉज यू ऑफ माइनस टी ओके दिस इज माइनस इन्फिनिटी एंड दिस इज प्लस इन्फिनिटी सो दिस यू ऑफ टी विल डू वॉट यू ऑफ माइनस टी विल बाउंड अवर सिग्नल फ्रॉम द रेंज माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू जीरो सो आई एम डिरेक्टली स्कीपिंग वन स्टेप एंड डिरेक्टली राइटिंग इरेज टू ए टी स्क्वेयर मीन्स इरेज टू टू ए टी डी टी सो इंटीग्रेटिंग वी विल गेट बाई टू ए माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू जीरो सो वी विल गेट वन बाई टू ए ओके एंड वी विल गेट वन माइनस जीरो इरेज टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी इट इज वन अपॉन इरेज टू इन्फिनिटी एंड इट इज वन अपॉन इन्फिनिटी इज जीरो सो वी विल गेट वन बाई टू ए एंड यू कैन नोटिस दैट इट इज सेम एज दैट ऑफ प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम सो वी कैन से दैट अगेन इरेज टू ए टी यू ऑफ माइनस टी इज ऑल्सो हैविंग एनर्जी ओके वन बाई टू ए ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ओके आई विश दैट यू कैन गिव आंसर फॉर द सेम इरेज टू प्लस टू टी यू टी ओवर हियर ए स्पेसिफाइड एज टू then and it is asking to find energy okay pause the video and think for it now let me answer you first of all whether it is a bounded signal let us check e is to 80 means it is exponentially rising okay and ut will bound it to zero to infinite okay so this is zero to infinite okay so this is our resultant signal and clearly it is not bounded because at t tends to infinity our signal is also tending to some infinite value okay so we can say that energy and power calculations are not possible and this signal is termed as any np signal one another category same as any no that is neither energy nor power in any no case it was neither even nor odd okay don't get confused don't get mixed up okay so this is any np signal and energy and power calculations are not applicable for this signal so one conclusion is that always check for the boundedness okay whether the signal is bounded and afterwards only proceed for the same clear so and one more conclusion is that our first example was e raised to minus at ut okay and our second example was e raised to plus at ut so we can say that if we substitute t by minus t in this equation we will get this or we can say that if we substitute t by minus t in this we will get this but the energy is remaining the same because in first example also our energy was 1 by 2a it means that time reversal okay has no effect on energy of the signal okay it is very important point okay so if some signal xt okay is given 
and it is given that its energy is something e joules okay so energy of signal minus x, x of minus t is also same as e joules okay i hope this point is clear so now let us move towards one more example now this is our next example so then our task is to find energy but we will check as always that whether the signal is bounded or not so can you plot, plot the graph for this x of t this is modulus function clear so modulus function will give t when t is greater than 0 and it will give minus t so we will get for t less than 0 clear so it is exponentially decaying for t greater than 0 only it is 0 and for t less than 0 what we are having we are having exponentially rising but it is until t less than 0 only so we have rising curve but it is until t less than, and clearly this signal is bounded because at any value of t we can't get infinite value clear so this signal is bounded signal so we can say we can find now energy of the same so clearly it is very simple e raised to minus a of mod t whole square dt so we can split the mode and split the limits depending okay so it is e raised to minus at whole square dt and similarly from 0 to infinite what we will get e raised to minus at whole square dt so we can get this e raised to minus 280 sorry plus 280 dt and here we will get e raised to minus 280 dt and these are same as our previous two problems okay so 1 by 2a we have the energy for this and this is also 1 by 2a so resultant we will get 1 by a so what we can say if we have both sided signal okay in first case we have only this sided in second case we have second example we have this and now in this example we have both sided so we can say that the total energy is being added clear now one more example this is homework for you okay find the energy for this signal provided a is greater than zero okay and post the answer in your comment box clear now let's move towards power okay now we will mesh up our examples one example i will consider for power then I'll again for energy and any random example okay so now our xt is u of t okay and now can you say that this is a bounded signal because u of t is saying that it is one for positive value of t and it is zero elsewhere that is for negative values of t so can you say this is a bounded signal we can say it is a marginally bounded meaning that it is extending from this whole minus infinity to infinity over here it is extending from zero to infinity okay but it is a power signal because it has a finite magnitude okay throughout its range though it is extending i wrote uh, three points over there in the lecture of power you can go through that lecture okay the very first lecture of energy and power signals over there you can see one point over here over there let me show you that point okay this was the point all infinite duration signal but having finite magnitude are always power signals okay these are okay so this is the point and it is being utilized over here so we can say this is a power signal now how to find power and over here our limit t will tends to infinity because we don't have any fundamental period so we will assume t is tending to infinity and we will integrate in one time period t okay and dt and we know u of t is 1 so 
we will get this it is not existing for for minus values okay so we have only limit left 0 to t by 2 it is 1 and into dt so clearly it is 1 by t and we will get dt as t so substituting the limit 1 by t into t by 2 so and this limit is tending t is tending to infinity but now we are not left with any terms of t okay so our answer is simply 1 by 2 what so this is the power now let's move towards one more example okay let me write it over here only it is very simple that find the energy or power okay i am not specifying anything find the energy or power depending of u of t minus u of minus t now always check for boundedness whether the signal is bounded or not and clearly this is bounded signal u of t minus u of minus t minus u of t minus 1 u of t minus this is the signal x of t okay this is the graph of this signal x of t now also this is 1 because this is u of t minus 1 so clearly this is a bounded signal so it is energy signal okay you can go through my lectures of energy signals very first lecture so and now clearly energy is given by integration 0 to 1 1 square dt equals to 1 okay so this is 1 joule which is the energy okay so from this one important conclusion derives is that for rectangular pulse note that i am saying for rectangular pulse only for rectangular pulses only this result is valid for rectangular pulse what we will do this is very important thing that for rectangular pulse energy in general is given by a square into b where what is a and what is b suppose this is one rectangular pulse so this is a which is on y axis and this is b that is a is magnitude so magnitude square into this okay this time extent this is the t axis so magnitude square into this b will provide us energy directly for rectangular pulses okay but note that it is applicable to rectangular pulses and obviously it is applicable to square pulses also okay so this is all about this lecture see you in the next